Good afternoon, Facebook and YouTube, and welcome to Ask Angelica, German language tuition with Angelica. Hello, Angelica. Hello, Stephen. Now, we've had a very quiet 20 minutes while we're sorting this out, but we are now good to go. You'll never, we'll never tell the story. Um, okay, so can you tell us where we're visiting this week? Well, according to the alphabet, the letter is O. And I had a few choices, but um, they, they were all really up north and we've just been in a couple of towns up north. So I thought, let's go to the south and let's visit Oberstdorf. Um, I have been there, but that's quite a few years ago and it was only for a day, not that I remember too much of it. So it was nice for me to sort of revisit it as well. Brilliant. Now, of course, it's it's it is well known, isn't it? Well, it yeah. is well look, at, look at the picture. Look at your background. Yeah. You're there. That's it. That's Oberstdorf. <laughs> now, I just want to make a, a small point here. The T is silent, isn't it? Oberstdorf. Yep. Sort of, yeah. So the, the T doesn't really need to be there, but it is. Oberstdorf. Well, yeah. It's, yes, I, I don't think you can really hear it. And um, I had to make sure that I spelt it right each time because your gut feeling wants to write it without the T. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. But I, I know it from Ski Sunday in the UK all those years ago. Now, the way this works is that Angelica has put together some sentences about Orbersdorf. I will read them out in German. Angelica will correct my pronunciation. Then with Angelica's help, I will translate them. And if you hang around to the end of the show, they'll be read in perfect German by Angelica and perfect English, of course, because I read the English bits, but it would have, never mind. Shall we make a start? Go on. <laughs> okay. So the first sentence in German, and you'll notice you're going P1, so the first sentence phrase one. Oberstdorf ist eine Gemeinde und Ski und Wanderstadt in Deutschland. Uh-huh. Oberstdorf is eine Gemeinde und she, the, the pronunciation on this she is, depends a little bit on where people come from. Um, most people, well, I, well, when I say it, it's it's most people really, isn't it? Say she. So she und Wanderstadt in Deutschland. Ski. Okay. Uh, Oberstdorf is a community. Yeah, Gemeinde is a strange word. Uh, community, parish, all those translation would work. But um, here it's meant in um, as in local government, so it's municipality. Uh, okay, municipality. And Ski and Wander, Stadt is uh, city. Uh, Wander, Wander. 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 Yeah, or oh, walk. Walking, or hiking, trekking, hiking. Yeah. Uh, Oberstdorf is a municipality and ski and walking in Germany. Now, the correct translation of that uh, is Oberstdorf is a municipality and skiing and hiking town in Germany. Mm -hmm. Okay. And phrase number two uh, is lead in the Elgar Region de Bayerischen Alpen. Okay, Allgäuer. So es liegt in der Allgäuer Region der Bayerischen Alpen. Right. It lies in the Allgäuer. Is there a literal translation or would you just use the... Well, no, there is no translation, but because we've got here in der, which makes it the dative case, we've added the ER, whereas the region actually is just called Algoi. All right, okay. So it lies in the Algoi region of um, the Alps, by yeah. Irish. The, 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 the Bavarian Alps, exactly. Bavarian Alps, okay. Uh, translation is, it is located in the Algoi region of Bavarian Alps. Mm -hmm. And for us three. Uh, es ist die südlichste Gemeinde in Deutschland und einer der höchsten Oxt, Oxt, Gelenk, 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 
Oh, hoaxed. This is going to go well when we do the outtakes. Hoaxed Galeganen Stesser. Yeah, that, that was pretty close, actually. Es ist die südlichste Gemeinde in Deutschland. You had no problems with that bit. Und eine der höchst gelegenen Städte. Höchst gelegenen. Höchst, höchst gelegenen. So you've got the umlaut on the O, so it's höchst gelegenen. Okay. Uh, now, we know what Gemeinde is because we've got a uh, municipality. Yeah. So it's the, this is the southern principality. Most the the most yeah. southern principality in Germany, yeah, and one of the highest. Well, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a town at the highest elevation. No, just one of the highest. That'll do. That's what oh. we would say. I know in German we see we don't like really the short word. We we like to really expand on. Uh, so instead of the highest towns, we're saying höchstgelegenen. Okay, and uh, it is the southernmost municipality in Germany and one of its highest towns. Press four. Uh, das Nebelhorn ist eine Berg östlich von Oberstdorf. Yeah, das Nebelhorn ist ein Berg östlich von Oberstdorf. Right, Nebelhorn is a mountain east of Oberstdorf. Yeah. Because it is a place, isn't it? So... Well, neither wow. one is, is the name of the mountain, yeah. Yeah, getting better. Press five. Er ist je nach Jahreszeit zum Wandern oder Ski fahren beliebt. Er ist je nach Jahreszeit zum Wandern oder Ski fahren beliebt. It is. Je nach Jahreszeit. Mm, Hilfe. Um, walking yeah. and ski, skiing. Um, yeah, okay. So, oh, let, let's do the, the belief first. Known for. A bit more than that. Popular. Right, okay. Okay, so the, the bit without the Yaris side is, er ist zum Wandern oder Skifahren beliebt. So it's popular for hiking or skiing. Now we need to work out what Yaris side is. Around. Not quite. Jahr is site literally translated. Jahr is year and site is time. The season. So depending on the season. All right. Okay. So when the snow is skiing and when there's no snow, snow. Exactly. It's so in the summer, people love hiking there, and in the winter, and I'm not sure what which bits they do in spring and autumn. <laughs> yeah, it depends on whether there is snow or not. So, thank, indeed, it's popular for hiking or skiing, depending on the season. The person who just found us, thank you. We had some fun before we went live. Um, and if you just got a message on Messenger, then we got going in the end. Uh, I'll message you after the show. Because I spoke to Fonz and John. Oh, right. Before I found out who it was. Right, phrase six. The Crystal Zee is ein Zee five kilometer südlich von Oberstdorf. It should be fünf kilometer though. Fünf. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The Crystal Zee is ein Zee fünf kilometer südlich von Oberstdorf. All right. Now, Zee is not a sea; it's a lake. Yeah. So the Crystal Lake uh, is a lake five kilometers south of Oberstdorf. Yeah, the name Kristallsee is, is the name of the lake, so yeah. that stays. The Kristallsee is ein well Kristallsee is a lake 5 kilometers south of yeah. Oberstdorf. Mm -hmm. And translation is Kristallsee is a lake 5 kilometers uh south of Oberstdorf and we're joined by our good friend, your good friend, our good friend. Say hello to if I could click it, I would. Uh, Stephen Snape, hello. All right. Nice to see you. Nice hello, to see Stephen. you. Yeah, my studio is not working as it should. We'll just go with the bits that are. <laughs> okay, uh, phrase seven. Er ist kein sehr großer See, aber seine Farben reichen von Schmerz. 
this is my second bad word over there. Smart grün bis Turkish. Yeah, Turkish. Good, well, good second attempt there. Es ist okay. kein sehr großer See, aber seine Farben reichen von Smaragdgrün bis Türkis. Right, okay. It's not a big lake, not really a big lake, but its colors range from some a sort of green through to turquoise. Yeah, and Smaragdgrün is emerald green. There you are, Stephen. We've learned something today. Smaragdgrün is emerald green. Um, Actually, when I when I sorted these sentences out, I learned something as well because I didn't know what that smaragd green was emerald green. So are. that was we, new as well. We all learn. We all yeah. learn. Absolutely. Right. Phrase number eight. The, the sorry, the translation of seven first. This is going extremely well. It is not a very big lake, but its colours range from emerald green to turquoise or turquoise, depending on which part of the UK you live in. Oh. Uh, phrase eight, der See hat die besondere, Besonderheit, dass er nie zufriert. Nie. Ja, der See hat die Besonderheit, dass er nie zufriert. Uh, the sea has the climate that, such that it never freezes. Well, the, the, lake lake, has. the lake has a peculiarity of mm -hmm. never freezing. Yeah, that it never freezes. Wow. Okay, I'll get when you see your the picture as your background, yeah, yeah with all the snow, and yeah. you know the lake is there and it never freezes. That's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll agree with envy Angelica. Right, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, as we're in years practice, years of I've been practicing German for the last 60 odd years. And we're still in Orbersdorf as my background changes. That's that's quite possibly. If I sort of just let me remove that, that may well be the lake, but it's not actually showing in the picture. Oh, no, it doesn't. So, I sorry, uh, yeah, yeah. So, well, we're actually, still in a ski lift behind you, and that looks like as if Loch Ness or a dinosaur is peeping <laughs> from over the tree. I don't know what that is. I wish I could show the original photograph, uh, but unfortunately I can't. I just got it as the backdrop. Okay, let's rewind. And again, we're going to go through the sentences, but this time Angelica will read the German and then I shall read the English. Angelica, it's over to you. Okay. Oberstdorf ist eine Gemeinde und Ski und Wanderstadt in Deutschland. Oberstdorf is a municipality and skiing and hiking town in Germany. Es liegt in der Allgäuer Region der Bayerischen Alpen. It is located in the Allgäu region of the Bavarian Alps. It would be funny if you actually had at one point to correct my English. <laughs> 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 es ist die südlichste Gemeinde in Deutschland und eine der höchstgelegenen Städte. Okay. And there's that word, höchststrengen. Höchstgelegenen. All right, okay, we'll practice that. Uh, it's the southernmost municipality in Germany and one of its highest towns. Das Nebelhorn ist ein Berg östlich von Oberstdorf. Which translates to Nebelhorn is a mountain to the east of Oberstdorf. Er ist je nach Jahreszeit zum Wandern oder Skifahren beliebt. It's popular for hiking or skiing depending on the season. So let's just go, I just want to go back a minute. Mm -hmm. So Oh, no, that's not as far back as I wanted to go. Just a minute. You're not just your sets. I, I shouldn't have done that, should I, really? Okay. Right, uh, we'll go with the translation and carry on, because um, it's popular for skiing. Okay, press six. Der Christlessee ist ein See fünf Kilometer südlich von Oberstdorf. Christlessee is a lake five kilometers south of Oberstdorf. 
Er ist kein sehr großer See, aber seine Farben reichen von Smaragdgrün bis Türkis. It is not a very big lake, but its colors range from emerald green to turquoise. And the final sentence. Der See hat die Besonderheit, dass er nie zufriert. And strange but true, the lake has the peculiarity of never freezing. So you can't go skiing on it. Ice no. <laughs> no, you can't. Right, okay, let's catch up with people who are watching and I, I still can't do the comments, so I'm going to read them out. Uh, ja, Schiffin, ich weiß. The light. No, that, that, that was a comment because I said I've been practicing for six, 60 odd years. And right. believed is not depending. That's um, uh, depending was. Um, uh, Oh, depending on the season. That was the bit, I think that was the bit you wanted to go back to. Je nach Jahreszeit. Is that the phrase, the bit from the phrase you wanted to go back to? Yes. Yeah, do you want me to go back to it and try and find it? Let's have a look. I think it was round about phrase five. Uh, yes, it was. That one. You, you, I think you tried to get back to that one, but I don't know why. I don't know. Which one do you want then? Hmm? No, no, that's the one that, that Stephen also said, um, uh, believed. Uh, no, believed is not depending. The, because the, the, the German trans sentence, literary translation would be, it is depending on the season, popular for hiking and, and, and skiing. But I think in English we would have said it's popular for hiking or skiing depending on the season. Okay, and Stephen, I remember this from Ski Sunday with David Vine, uh, when they always go went off to Oberstdorf for the Grand Slalom, and that's that's why I knew that the T in Oberstdorf was silent, because that's the way David Vine said it, and if he said it that way, then oh, that's good with me. Right, where are we going? Where are we going in two weeks' time? I actually don't know yet. Ah. Well, I obviously know the letter, but I haven't decided on a place yet. So I'll need to do a bit of um, research and find a place with some interesting bit of information. Wonderful. So we've no clue where we're going, but it'd be somewhere nice. Hopefully somewhere I can get photographs. And uh, Stephen, well, it's over to you to close the broadcast, Angelica, if you would. OK, well, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in, Stephen. And uh, we'll all see you in two weeks' time when we will talk about a place in Germany beginning with P. I have to think for a minute there. Yeah, it is. It is yeah. yeah, we're doing quite well. I mean, we've gone from A and we're just on O, so we're, yeah. we're working our way through. Bye, everybody. Tschüss von mir. Tschüss von mir. Okay.